first cast of the day too. On the drop shot. Welcome back to another episode, guys. All right. So we're back on Lanier. Um, over the weekend, I went up to Chatoot for the first time. Real cool lake. Tons of tons of spots in there. Um, one of the downsides, though, is I broke my trolling motor. So my trolling motor's acting up. I got my uh, I did my hundred hour maintenance yesterday. So this is my first time back out here in like four days. There's a good fish on a drop shot right there. But yeah, Chatoog was a great time. Looking forward to getting back up there. Gonna upgrade this trolling motor here soon, so I'm gonna get this rebuilt and uh, keep it as a spare and maybe sell it. But beautiful fish to start the day right there. Starting to feed up after the spawn. His tail's still a little bloody. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Got another one out of another brush pile. Oh, he came off. He came off. That's all right. Hopefully this guy stays pinned. Oh, he ain't bad. Oh. Heck yeah, man. Another drop shot fish. I've been putting this drop shot to work along with that 100 swim baits glitch lately. I haven't been getting a lot of top water bites. But man, this guy's teeth are sharp. Nice spot right there. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Another one on the drop shot. Drop shot clinic today. Come on, Bubba. So how I'm catching these fish with the drop shot in this brush is I actually... Uh, I don't know what a lot of guys like to use, but I feel like a majority of people go like an eighth to a quarter ounce weight. And I actually like using three eighths of an ounce. So I get a quicker fall. So it's almost more of a reaction bite out of these spots in this brush, especially when they're grouped up. Because if they're in a group and something shoots by them real quick, they get super competitive and they lash out at it. And then I also like to use heavier because if they don't bite it on the drop, then I'll pop it real fast through that brush pile, and usually that can trigger another bite. There we go. Spitting a ton of shad, Harry, whatever it is. What's up, buddy? Oh, 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 oh. Line snap, but it kept him from falling out of the boat. Gonna retie, but just a little dude. My troll motor completely locked up now. Um, when I was at Chatoog, I was able to get it working just enough where I could really use my weight and the pedal would decide to turn. Now it's not working at all, so we're stuck fishing with the big motor. So this is gonna be an experience, but let's get after him still. I gotta start my motor now, move back. There we go, there's another spot. Nothing big, but I ain't complaining without a trolling motor, so. about the trolling motor getting in the way. Oh, come here, buddy. Beautiful fish. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, cool, man. Another
another drop shot bass right in the snout courtesy the gamakatsu a nice healthy spot post spawn feeding up Orgy on the drop shot off that dock. Cool. Heck yeah, man. Another one. Now this guy's a spot. Sweet. Largey and a spot off one dock. Let's go. There we go. Thanks, Bubba. So unfortunately, not only did my trolling motor go out, but my live scope transducer also went out. I left a message for Garmin and they got back to me when I was out on the water here. We ran some tests as you can see, and uh, unfortunately since it's out of warranty, just like my Ultrex, I'm going to have to pay out of pocket to get a new transducer, which is unfortunate because uh, it's already been an expensive week as is, but it's all part of fishing, it's all good, we'll get back out there. But I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and check out some other content. But I'll see you guys soon. Later.